Hello, this is Caroline Middlebrook here, and you are watching the video version of the ebook Developing Money Making Niche Sites with WordPress. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up AdSense on your new themes. Now, this is theme specific, so it's going to be different depending on what, what kind of theme you're using. The first ones I'm going to show you how to do are Mark Mason's um, speciality themes. And the last video, um, I told you that he had. Um, agreed to give me some new themes, some generic ones, um, with which don't have a graphic on them. So if you've got a strange niche that doesn't quite fit in with any of the graphics, then you can do that. So for example, here is just a plain blue one, and that's what that looks like here. Now it just so happens that he's also given me a cigar one, uh, which I didn't ask for, but I thought that was quite amusing, so I might as well use that. There you go, cute little cigar graphic. So if you do want to do a, a site about cigars, you now know, you've now got a theme to do it. Now the way to set up AdSense is you actually have to go into your theme editor and muck around with some of the files. But don't worry, it's very easy and there's not very much to change. Over on the right, these files here are all the files which make up your theme. Um, some of these are standard WordPress ones, others have been modified especially for this theme. An example is AdSense underscore ID dot PHP. This is specific to Mark Mason's themes and it's done to make it very easy to put your own ID in. We've got three variables here. So we've got your ad client, which is the pub with a dash and the number. You get this from your Google AdSense account. Now this presumably is Mark Mason's one, um, so you need to just edit this and replace it with your own. I'm not going to do that here, I'm just showing you where to go. You can also put in an ad channel which is um, a feature of AdSense that I don't particularly use, but you can just delete that line if you don't want to. And here we've got Add Test On, it says to remove this line. Um, with that line in there it's just a test. Now that's quite good for me because I want to leave this as a test because what happens is I wouldn't want to put my own AdSense account on here and then have any sort of fraudulent clicks while I'm um, just experimenting. Now to be quite honest this is all you need to do for these particular themes is just change your ID and then anytime anybody clicks on any of these ads it is you that gets the credit. However, what I'll also show you is how to change, uh, how to customize the ads which are already there to some extent. You'll notice some of these have got post and then an underscore AdSense. We've got sidebar AdSense, uh, we've got page AdSense, and what this is, these particular files show you um, how AdSense is set up on those particular things. So for example, this is for a regular post, as in a blog post. And as you can see, we've got variables here for the width, height, the format, the type. So if you want to, you can fiddle with these things, but you don't need to. It will work just as it is. Another thing that you can customize here is AdSense color. By default, it's using sort of red text here. You've got a white background. Um, so the colors are just these sorts of colors which have been set up here. You can modify them as you wish, but you don't need to. That's all you need to do for Mark's themes. Now what I'll do is show you how to change it for ProSense, which is rather different. Oh, it's on page two. Okay, so first of all I'm going to activate the ProSense theme, you have to do that in order to access the files. So I'll just make sure that's changed on the live site. There we go, completely different. Now again, you come to Theme Editor, but this time we're going to have a different set of files. Now in Mark's themes, he had a file just with the AdSense ID, and you only had to put your ID in a single place. Um, the ProSense theme isn't quite as slick as that what you have to do is all the files that start with the word AdSense you have to go into every single one of those and change the ID that is in there so if I just click on one of them again we've got this same variable Google Ad Client with that publisher number you've also got the other details such as the height and width so you will need to replace 
this number. This is the crucial number here. And we've got AdSense for a single post at the bottom. And you'd need to go through every one of those files, all of these AdSense files, and change them individually. And that's it. That is all you need to do to set up AdSense for either of those two themes. Now, if you choose to use some other kind of AdSense ready theme, the process is probably going to be similar and presumably the theme author is going to have some kind of instructions to help you. But generally speaking, I would expect some kind of AdSense file and some kind of variable where you just put in your publisher ID. And that's all there is to it.